10 best and worst cars to buy right now. We're always tracking those market insights. Let's jump right into it, Dad. This is back on CarEdge.com. The 10 worst cars to buy right now. Number one on our list. Yes. Worst yes. car to buy. The Chrysler 300. And Don't spend why 37 thousand plus dollars on a sedan that hasn't changed in a decade. That's <laughs> that's the reason why. Um. Yeah, the, uh, you could you could buy a 2014 and it'll look just like the 2024, um, but it probably won't have zero miles on it. Um, but there is an incredible day supply of those vehicles available at the moment. Yeah, there absolutely is. It's been, uh, you know, uh, end of a production run, but don't waste your time on a Chrysler 300. The Kia Carnival, Dad, the Kia Carnival has a 34 days supply at the time of filming this video. There's not that many of them for sale nationwide. This is one of the worst cars to try and get into right now because of how popular it is. That day's supply dictates a lot of negotiability and wiggle room on price. Yes. Actually, the day supply for that vehicle has been going up, which is somewhat surprising because it is one of the more affordable vans in in the uh, van market now number three on our worst cars to buy right now the lincoln aviator while there's a high day supply 186 days supply of inventory consumer reports has ranked the 2024 aviator as one of the least reliable cars you can buy that's a good reason to stay away from this ford product that's obviously batch the lincoln well uh never want to say anything bad about lincoln he was a hell of a president just doesn't make a hell of a car the best financing offer on that Lincoln, by the way, is 6.9%. So there aren't even good offers from the manufacturer. Dad, the Cadillac Escalade ESV, that's on our short list of worst cars to buy right now. There's only a 41 day supply of this vehicle nationwide, and there are not big incentives on it. It's just low negotiability, poor finance offers from Cadillac. Not a good mix. That that part is true, but it you know the ESV is is a somewhat limited uh, production vehicle. And yes, you're always going to pay for that one. Chevrolet Colorado. You want to get one of these in your driveway? Good luck. We do have back through CarEdge.com ability to get you them at invoice price. But holy cow, man, an 18 days supply on these things. There are no incentives from the automaker on this and very little negotiability. This is an example of one of those affordable pickup trucks that unfortunately, similarly to the Maverick, just not a good option right now for most people. Only because they don't build them in the numbers that they could sell them. Yeah, they sold 71,000 of them in 2023, and there's only 1,600 <laughs> or so on dealer lots right now. Huge, huge disparity on what they or how many they sell and, and how many are available. Absolutely. The Chevy Blazer EV. Now, the EV game is, is an interesting one. Why is this one of our worst uh, cars to buy right now? Because it's a $60,000 electric vehicle from General Motors. And, uh, you know, it's not necessarily what your uh, uh, best best way to put your money towards an EV. Go look at one of those Teslas as an alternative at a cheaper price point. And, and it is just coming out. So typically people pay too much for something when it just comes out. Not to mention the fact that there was already a stop sale on the Blazer EV in December of last year. So just not a good look. Like there are alternative options out there. Speaking of alternative EV options that are still not a great one, the Kia Nero EV. There are 139, there's 139 days supply. So there are uh, inventory of these vehicles out there. That being said, for $41,000 with the charging infrastructure it has, and there are no real incentives on it, just not a great option for customers. Look at the Must Mustang Mach-E. Can't believe I'm saying that, but that's one of our best because there's so much more inventory <laughs> over there. And better deals to be had on the Mustang Mach-E. The Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE PHEV. How can this be on our list? Price and reliability. One of the worst options out there right now. <laughs> You've got a $25,000 price increase over your gas options from Jeep. And at the same time, it's a Jeep. So reliability is going to be a question mark no matter what. Uh, it's an unfortunate reality, but it's true. And then, Dad, the VinFast VF8 Nissan Pathfinder. Those are the two final ones on our list. The VinFast just buyer beware on the VinFast front. There's uh, uh, only about a thousand of them on the road in the United States. So it's just, you know, a uh, buyer beware on a brand new vehicle. And the Nissan Pathfinder, there's a big depreciation issue on Nissans right now. And buying their most expensive SUV is not a recipe for success. Uh, yeah, Nissan has been having great difficulties with their inventory and selling down their inventory all year. Um, it's one of the highest depreciating vehicles out there. 
All right, now let's talk about some of the best vehicles that you can buy right now. The 2024 Mazda CX-50. There's a decent day's supply of Mazda nationwide. Reliability's high and the finance offers are all the way down to 0.9%. The Mazda CX-50 looking like a great option for many people right now. And it's a good quality car. Great bang for the buck. 2024 Chevrolet Trax. You want to be under $25,000 out the door price? Here's an option for you. And there's even an 82 days supply. So there is or there are inventory uh, pockets of inventory out there in the market. The Chevy Trax is a fantastic option for a price conscious customer. And, uh, you know, there's there's not much to not much to be upset about at that price point. Um, and, you know, we we actually looked at that vehicle at the Detroit Auto Show. And uh, even though people bash it all the time, I was quite impressed with the fit and finish of that car. One of the best deals right now, if you can negotiate hard, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, go for it, folks. There's over a 500 day supply of these mach Why not? You know, work a deal. Let's be very clear, work a deal, but one of the best options out there. And there are some strong incentives from Ford on the financing side down to 1.9% for 60 months. So they are starting to step up with offers here to try and get these moved. Well, uh, it's what you have to do when people have said, we don't want it. Same thing with F-150, 1.9% financing up to 72 months. There's over 100 days supply. We're seeing big discounts from the dealers and finally finance incentives from the automakers. Similarly, with the Chevy Silverado 1500, you have 2.9% financing for 72 months and 138 days supply. So on the full-size pickup truck front, there are deals to be had. You have to negotiate and you can get you know really good financing offers. Uh, 2.9 and 1.9% is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, the incentives on pickup trucks have gone up dramatically. Mazda CX-5. We talked about the CX-50 before. We're at 0.9% APR for 36 months and a price point that's pretty hard to you know, get upset about, as well as strong uh, reports from uh, strong ratings from Consumer Reports. So another Mazda on the list. It's a good option out there for a driver who just wants to get something at a fair price and, and you know, is pretty damn good at getting from point A to point B. Um, probably better than, than just better, pretty, yeah, than, than pretty, good. Than, than pretty damn good. Really want to get a deal? The BMW X2. There's an 800 days supply of these things out there in the ether. Leases on these new BMWs as low as $600 a month. BMWs working hard to get these off of dealer lots. The X2 has not really been a, a hit per se. Uh, the X2 was never extremely popular. Um, it is a nice vehicle, but you know many of those customers end up with a, I hate to say it, a mini Clubman. Yeah, absolutely, which is a better option, in your opinion, as a mini lessor. Yes. Now that or lease, excuse me, the Dodge Hornet is on our best list. Why? Because there's still a ton of them out there and people aren't buying them. We're seeing more and more deals on the Dodge Hornet. So it's a huge opportunity for folks. Another Mazda on the list. We are obviously a little bit biased towards Mazda. Good price and value right now. The CX-90 p -Hef. Uh, or the CX-90 in general, excuse me, and the PHEV options, not bad. 0.9% financing and up to $1,000 in cash that can be combined with it. That's a great offer, plus yes. highly negotiable at dealers. Wow. And and it is it is their newest model. We have actually looked at it, haven't sat in one, but it, it, you know, from the outside, it looks like a very, very nice vehicle. Last but not least, a vehicle you should be considering for those of you that want to go negotiate a deal, the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. We've been talking about this van for a long, long time. While the Odyssey and Sienna are hard to get your hands on, we talked about the Kia Carnival, also difficult to get your hands on. It is a Chrysler. It is a hybrid Chrysler. So there's all the yellow flags. But there's a 208-day supply. There's 0% financing for 60 months. I mean, you can you can work a deal on a Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid right now. It is an option. There are strong, strong incentives on the Pacifica. It might not necessarily be the best choice out there, but dollars and cents wise, it's probably uh, the best choice for how much you should be able to save on the purchase price. We'll link to the guide down below. You can check out all the rationale for our thinking here. But generally, the gist of it is high demand, low demand high supply, low supply, and what are the OEMs doing in terms of incentives? And that's our rationale, you know, to sum it up simply for you. Thank you, Pops. Appreciate it as always. Uh, my pleasure, Handsome.